So we're here today to introduce you to the SCCM Datathon 2023 Introductory Jupyter Notebook. Um, this Jupyter Notebook is an easy way to run Python code on a web server. You don't need to have a very powerful computer with this. And also it's a way to have uh, consistent access and easy demonstrations. So some recommendations are that Google Colab, again, this online Jupyter Notebook version, allows you to analyze your data more easily um, with much less upfront cost. Honestly, this is free. All you need is a Google ID. So we're here to talk about how do we run this notebook. So as you note, this is going to be right. If you ever need to restart and get back to make sure that your code is up to date, you can just restart your runtime. Your entire Jupyter notebook will be reset. We just like to write, highlight here some challenges. Here are some links to some initial files and some nice uh, links to and thanks to our repositories. So in terms of extracting data, there are a couple things to do. I want you to look on the left hand side, right? You can get to that by clicking this three button, this table of contents here on the left. You look at this section of extracting data. So the big use of using a big query, Google BigQuery on Google Cloud Services, and also this uh, Jupyter Notebook is to essentially look at gigabytes and gigabytes of data without having to download it and having to process it. So what I want you to do first is run this notebook. So and you want to start one at a time, you can always click this, you'll see it's actively downloading and a new package, a new set of software off of the internet, you will get to rerun it was this as well again, control enter or this play button. And this will ask you to authenticate or to load to use your Google credentials to access Google BigQuery. So remember that this is going to look into your Google credentials. And so it's going to pop up first this notebook. So make sure this is the same Google ID that you have for both PhysioNet um, and for your BigQuery access and for this collab. That would probably make the most amount of sense. We'll click allow. Once this happens, you're going to just look to another screen. You'll see this sign in. This sign in here, you'll pick the account you want to look at. You'll say that it can see and edit. This does look quite scary, but you have to be for the use of this, use a safe account for this. And now that you've finished this, you go back to your lab notebook and then you can click on, for example, setting your cloud project. And here are your examples on your left of how to extract data. So you're going to look at, right, let's look at this area here. So then the, your first version is a, so this percent percent big query is what they call a magic command. Change this if you are not part of the datathon, so you can consider accessing this code. And this will allow you to, for example, look at Mimic 3 for these lab items. And it will also make sure that we have found blood gas name. So this is just to show that you can extract and display your data here. This is going to run. So we're going to rerun this here. This is going to actively query data and then push it forward. So let's learn how to extract the data to a variable. So in this case, you saw that it pulled it out of BigQuery and then extracted it and put it into a display on your screen. This one here actually expects this again to sell magic as a destination table. So in this case, you have a destination of this variable here, DF test, and then this will pull the same data. It will not display it, but right, this will explain this, but you can then display it here and here you go. So a couple of things. So we've run this for virus, mimic, three and BigQuery. So we have also, this is an example table one. So when you run this, you'll extract some data, for example, for the participant project, you'll look at demographics, you'll load this out. Again, you'll validate this is the right data. You'll then load that to a variable called demographics, for example. And then by looking at these columns, you can then look at comparing data for groups of patients who are either, either dead or alive at the end of their hospital stay. And here, this is a general early table one with some initial data. Obviously, there are some ways where we could clean the data better, but this is a start and let's improve it from here. And you can see that this is similar code for extracting vitals, for example, your temperature, your heart rate, your blood pressures, and your pulse oximetry values. This is, for example, for labs, if you want to look at labs, so for example, Mimic 3 labs, and this will extract lab data for each of the Mimic 3, 4 EICU and virus data sets. And finally, we'll add some code later to show you how to look at SOFA values. Not all have easy SOFA methods. Thanks so much and happy coding.